Hey everyone, it's Griffin here. So when you think of tax season, what first comes to mind, right? Probably a little bit of stress, maybe feeling overwhelmed also, wanting to make sure that you're getting your taxes filed on time and in the appropriate manner to avoid any further complications and added fees. But most importantly, we wanna make sure that we're getting the highest return possible. And the thing is, most people tend to think that filing their own personal taxes is overly complicated and requires the help of professionals. But in reality, most people can actually file their own personal taxes from the comfort of their own computer in like less than an hour and actually for free, as we're gonna be speaking about in today's video. Now, there are various different services online to help you file your taxes. I've personally been using Wellsimple Tax now for the past four filing years, even before it was called Wellsimple Tax. It used to be called Simple Tax before it was acquired by Wellsimple and rebranded to Wellsimple Tax. So that being said, I have made a handful of Wellsimple Tax overviews in the past on the channel, but of course, with a new tax season rolling around here, there are several new product feature updates to Wellsimple Tax. Now, they did actually approach me wanting me to make a full overview for the 2021 tax season. And so today's video is sponsored by Wellsimple Tax. That being said, I've been using this platform for years now, and I genuinely believe this is a great platform for multiple different Canadians that have various different financial situations. And a bonus here, it's actually free, which is great. All right, so let's kick things off with an updated platform overview of Wellsimple Tax, going over my own personal tax return. And while you're following along at home, if you are new to Wellsimple Tax this year and you want to open up an account and file your taxes with them, make sure to check out the top link in the description. You'll get $15 for free when you actually complete your tax filing and also be entered into a $5,000 giveaway. All right, so this is what Wilson Tax is gonna look like when you first log in as a new user. Now, obviously I'm not a new user. As I said, I've been using this for a couple years in the past. So this is what it's going to look like though. You're gonna have to fill in uh, some personal information, of course, including your SIN number. This is completely normal because of course, Wellsimple has to actually communicate with the CRA in order to file your taxes accordingly and then also the provincial government. So again, that's what it's going to look like when you first log in. And then once you've successfully completed all of that personal information, you'll be brought to this main dashboard that's really simple and we're going to be going through each section right now. Now before we jump into the actual building of the return itself, there's a couple things I first want to cover on this main dashboard. So first and foremost right here, there's an orange bar that says that you'll be able to submit your return when NetFile opens on February 21st. So right now the video that is probably going to come up for that and you can start actually building your return but it's only as of the 21st that you'll be able to actually file it with the federal as well as provincial governments. Now, up top, we also have a section, a toolbar, I guess we could call it, where to the left, we have this drop down menu where tax, invest and save, and then trade and crypto are available. I just wanted to quickly mention that because if you do have accounts open with Wellsimple's other products, you can easily switch between those. To the right, we also have the account dropdown, where if we click on my past returns or my tax returns, you will see all of your past returns that you filed through Wellsimple Tax. In my case, as I mentioned previously, under Simple Tax, we had 2018 and 2019's returns. And then under Simple Tax, we have last year's 2020, and then now the 2021 return that I'm currently building. And then finally, for this upper toolbar here, we have the earn $10 section. Basically, you can refer your friends and family and get a $10 bonus for each one of your friends and family that actually create an account with Wellsimple Tax and file their tax return this year for the first time. I do want to mention though, there is a five person cap where basically you can get $50 for free in bonuses by referring five friends. Okay, so let's exit this section right here and we're going to go back to my tax return for this year, clicking right there. All right, so here we are back on the main Wellsimple Tax dashboard and this is where you're going to be creating your return and inputting all of the relevant information to you. Now, first and foremost, we can see to the left, we have a column where it's divided up into sections. The top one being called about you, where we're going to be putting all of our personal information. Quickly going over that, we have the about you section with your name, social insurance number, date of birth, all this really basic information, followed with the net file access code. Now, because you're filing your taxes online, well, Simple Tax obviously needs this code in order to communicate effectively with the government and the CRA. Now, going down, we also have the mailing address about your residence. Obviously, this is important because depending on which province you live in, you're also going to have to file taxes in your respective province. Continuing to go down, information about you and your family, other miscellaneous information, and then in my case, because I do live in Quebec, relevant information for Revenue Quebec. Now, it's at this point that we can actually start 
building the return and I'm going to bring your attention back to that left column. So we can see here build your return is where we're now at and in my case there's already a couple of things that are uh, already there in my return because I have used this in the past and I was able to use a really awesome feature within Wellsimple Tax called Jumpstart essentially. So I was able to utilize multiple sections from last year's return and it already populates them. That's a really awesome feature to save you some time and if some sections don't apply to you anymore you can easily just come and click on the garbage can right there to delete that section in question. Now of course we're going to come back to this section in detail but I just want to quickly finish up the left column. So review is basically at the bottom where you're going to be able to review and optimize your return. We'll get back to that shortly and then we have the summary of the return, the amount you're going to be refunded or owing to the federal government and then also your provincial government and then finally we can submit the return down here as of the 21st. Okay so with that left column covered let's now go back to the build your return section which is where you're going to be spending the most time building your return and adding sections. So the top section is called auto fill your return and this is really awesome. Basically you can with the click of a button import slips from in this case well simple invest well simple trade in crypto and it's going to populate those accordingly in various different investment sections for this. Now we also have brand new for this year crypto with other exchanges that's going to be available on February 21st and we'll be coming back to this section later on in the video to give a bit more information. Now right under that we have the search bar which is going to be sort of the lifeblood I guess we could say of the entire return creation process because in here we have all of the different sections that we can add to our return. You can see a couple of them are starred. This is because they're already in my return and I've used them in the past but there are so many different things to choose from depending on your personal situation right. Work premium tax credits, uh, unused losses from prior years, rental income, Quebec refund, all of this is also searchable in the top section. So the most uh, common thing is usually going to be a T4 if you're employed. So we can search for that. Of course, it was the top one, but employment income is going to be the first one that pops up. And if we click on that, it will add that section to our tax return. Of course, T4 slip here, quite straightforward. If you filed your taxes before, you're going to enter your employer's name as well as other information that's in the same format as what your T4 should look like. If you have more than one job or more than one employer, it's as easy as just clicking on add another T4 and it will add that section right there and you can add as many as you need for your return. Okay, so this year is actually the first year I'm not going to have a T4 in my own personal return, but because this is the most common thing in most people's returns, we're gonna look over quickly at what this looks like. So in this case, employer's name, let's say Government of Canada, and then box 10 is your province, which is going to add a section underneath for your own province's returns, potentially, depending on where you are. Box number 14 is uh, the actual employment income. So let's say you made 50,000 dollars. Now, what I really like about Wellsable Tax is that it updates your return in real time. So in this case, let's say with just $50,000 worth of employment income, it's going to show us that federal owing is $4,421. Now, of course, that doesn't take into account any other taxes you've already paid every single time that you've had a paycheck. Usually, you're going to have income tax that is withheld from your checks so that you're not hit with a massive tax bill at the end of the year. And so with that in mind, in this case, on a T4 box, Box number 22 is taxes already withheld. So let's say over the course of the year, you already paid $5,000. Well, you would input that right there and it's going to again update it in real time. And in this case, there was a change of $5,000 to the return. And now you would actually be owed $579 from the federal government, considering nothing else in your tax return as you're adding things to it. Now, in this case, since I'm filing taxes in Quebec, I put that right here. And this other section appeared called the RL1 slide. And this is a slip where you're declaring your income, same sort of thing as a T4, but for the provincial government. Now, in this case, I'll just go through it quickly. Uh, box number A is, again, your employment income. So let's say it was also $50,000. I would put that in there. And same thing, it's going to be updating in real time your provincial taxes owing. Again, in this case, if I made $50,000, I would owe $5,145 before inputting any withheld taxes at the source. Okay, so I'm not going to take the time to go and input information into every single box of the T4. Let's keep going down to speak about some of the other more relevant sections that might be included in your own tax return. Typically, people are going to have RRSP contributions or deductions. So again, this is a section that you can search up in the search bar and add to your return. Now, in this case, it also gives you a bit more information. You can deduct RRSP contribution uh, that you make on or before March 1st, 2022. So if you're watching this, make sure that you do any 
any RRSP contributions before March 1st. In this case, if we did make any contributions, we can input yes and then put the type of contribution and that will be accounted for once again in your federal as well as your Quebec owing refund. So let's say uh, we made a RRSP contribution between January 1st and March 1st, 2022. Put that in there and the amount, let's say, uh, was $6,000. It's going to update in real time. Actually, it didn't because we didn't input the top section. Let's say our deduction limit was uh, I don't know, $10,000 this year, and we made an amount, uh, a contribution amount of $6,000. Well, there we go. We can see it just updated in real time. We have a change of plus almost $800 owing to us on the federal refund, and then plus just under $1,100 on the Quebec owing refund. Now, obviously, just like with the T4, there are other sections that you can input information. We're not going to be doing that for the sake of today's video. Let's keep going down though, right? Government payments, this is something that probably won't apply to you. This is just because I have had an electric vehicle last year where I had an amount that the Quebec government gave to me and that obviously has to be uh, put on your refund. Capital gains and losses though is probably something that you might have to include in your tax return if you were trading stocks this year. And then just like with every other section within Wealthable Tax, this one is also quite straightforward. So let's say that we traded some uh, publicly traded shares, mutual funds, etc. We'll click on that. Amount from your T5004 slip. This by the way is probably going to be information you'll be able to find in your own brokerage documents, depending on the brokerage that you use, you'll be able to get all of this information condensed into one document. Let's say we made $9,000 worth of capital gains this year, we'll see a capital gain of $9,000. And again, this will be reflected in your federal as well as your provincial tax return refund or what you owe. And then depending on how many capital gains or losses you did this year, you can add more sections to this. Let's say if you had crypto, uh, listed personal property, resource property, whatever it might be, all able to include easily into your tax return. And then finally, the last section we're gonna be looking at here quickly, just because otherwise uh, this video could get really long. We're gonna look at the business, personal, and commission income. Now this is if, for example, you made a personal income with a business this year that isn't incorporated, right? If you started selling lemonade, for example, you have to technically report all of this income through a T2125 slip. And this is where you can input all of that information. So your business name, uh, you know, GST number, if that applies to you, and so forth. Now, income and expenses, again, everything is just laid out really simply. It looks complicated, but in reality, it's really not uh, when you start breaking this down and taking the time to do it. All right, so that about wraps it up for the sections we're gonna be covering in the video. Again, down here, there is also a search bar where you can search different things as well as up top. So anything that might apply to you, you can search right here. Tuition and education amounts, donations, medical expenses, all easily laid out in this searchable uh, catalog of different categories that you can add to your return. But as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna go back up to the top and speak about the brand new added feature to Wealthsimple Tax for the 2021 year, being crypto with other exchanges. Now, again, this is only going to become available on February 21st. It's not yet available. However, Wilson did give me some screenshots as to what this is going to look like. And it's very similar to the other sections that you can add to your tax return. So whether or not you're new to trading crypto this year, well, it turns out you actually have to pay capital gains taxes on your crypto trading if that applies to you. So in this case, what Wilson Tax is looking to offer is you're going to be able to easily connect to over 300 different platforms where you're able to trade at crypto currencies throughout the year, it's going to connect directly with those platforms, communicate with them and pull all of your transactions so that it can easily help you calculate your capital gains or your capital losses for the year. And like with everything else that Wealthsimple Tax offers, this is a completely free feature that you can use when you're utilizing their platform. Again, realistically, a lot of people got into crypto trading over the course of 2021. And although it might seem like you don't have to pay taxes on your crypto trading, turns out you do. All right, so at this point, once you've successfully completed all the sections that pertain to you and your tax return, we can go down to the review section at the bottom where you can review and optimize your tax return. So this is really great because by clicking here, it's going to show you all of the errors in your tax return, but then also different warnings and suggestions that might help you get a better return. So in this case, obviously we did it extremely poorly and not all the information was submitted. So there are multiple different errors and warnings. For example, oops, there's a problem with something that you entered. You can find the problem by clicking here. So if we click on this, for example, it's going to bring us back up to the miscellaneous tab where I forgot to input some information. Some of the other elements in this review section include warnings that we can see right here, and then also different suggestions that might help, again, uh, improve your return. So one of them, for example, is you may be eligible for the work premium tax credits, 
And, the, and another one is you may be eligible for the amount for person living alone. Maybe that applies to you, maybe it doesn't, but these are sections that you can also add to your return in order to, again, potentially better the amount that's owed to you. Now, once you are done with the review section, the next one is the summary section where we're gonna be presented with all of the amounts for federal as well as provincial, your RRSP contribution room for the upcoming calendar year and so forth. All of this is information that's really going to be relevant to your specific return. And then finally, if you're happy with everything, you can click on submit, which again is not available right now because that's going to be available as of February 21st. Now, one last element about Well Simple Tax that I wanna make sure to mention here is that once you do click on submit your return, you're gonna be prompted with a box where, again, it is completely free to file your return if you want it to be free. But since this is a free service, they also encourage you to contribute a certain amount. Now, in this case, I'm not gonna be able to show you what that looks like. It's really straightforward though. However, what we can look at is upgrade right here. So you're automatically on the free plan. However, if you do upgrade and contribute a minimum of $30 for your return, you're gonna be presented with different uh, features and functionality available to you like audit support, and then also priority email support in case something does end up happening where the CRA wants to audit you, you're gonna have assistance from Wellsimple Tax. All right, so that about wraps it up. As we just saw, Wellsimple Tax is seriously just such a simple tool for Canadian to use to file their taxes. And while most people think it's overly complicated, again, as we just saw, it really doesn't need to be. Also, make sure you don't forget that if you're a new tax filer in the 2021 tax filing season with Wellsimple Tax, using the top link in the description, you'll get $15 for free. And then also, you'll be entered into a chance to win $5,000, where the winner can redeem their winnings on Wellsimple Cash after tax season. With that said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for new and upcoming videos. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one.